friends, you're watching Riso and this is again straight away for you. We want to talk about Karl Marx today. A basic explanation of the fundamental ideas of Marxism, his dialectical materialism, the philosophy of Marxism. Things will never change is a common refrain. Under the sun, things will remain the same. No change. History repeats itself. So these kind of things are always there. A common reference we come across a lot. But Karl Marx, while introducing his dialectical materialism, has talked about a major and massive and gross change which would ultimately overthrow capitalism and which is going to start as communism. And it is important for us to understand what does he understand about communism and his dialectical materialism. Whereas like dialectical materialism when we talk about, it's like more than an outlook, a philosophy of action. One of the Russian Marxists made this comment. It is more than an outlook, but a philosophy of action. Even the Indians has made this comment that it's a road map for us, a map for actions. When he talks about dialectical materialism, Marxism, when we study, Marx was not just a social thinker or a political thinker or economic thinker. Of course, he was a political philosopher, economic philosopher, and a social philosopher at the same time. And his theory talks a great deal about an incessant struggle which dominated the scam during his time. And it is still dominates the scam. Capitalism is dominating. And to an extent, in great totality, is still the capital. Capitalism dominates a lot. There's a struggle, whereas the dialectical materialism talks about struggle between working class and ownership class. And whereas through his dialectical materialism, he favors communism and socialism over capitalism. Whereas in his like Communist Manifesto, 1848, Marx and Engels have sort of, you know, made a foundational possibilities for us like workers, revolution and communism to overthrow capitalism, philosophy, a philosophical bedrock we can take as dialectical, you know, we can understand dialectical materialism, a method for us to understand how things can be overthrown, how we can attack capitalism because capitalism has this theory that things will not change and it's quite okay. And you've got to accept, you've got to believe your fate. And let's not look for change. That's what they're saying. But we've got to look for change in order to change the entire society. Because communism is very important for us. Socialism is something which is needed by us. Because just a handful number of people owning the means of production, the land, the machinery, the machine, the factories, the power, the money everything and they're dominating that's not going to spread the benefits and kind of rotate the benefits around equally there's going to be a partiality the wealth will not be distributed among all as they need it it will only be distributed among those who are holding the means of production the land the machinery the factories the kind of resources it may be money and they will ultimately be controlling the power. The power center will be at their hand. The power, the authority, the source of power is going to be at their hand. If there is communism over capitalism, if there is socialism over capitalism, as Marx, as Marx predicted and hypothesized, it will be a benefit. It is going to cause us a good benefit and a good equality in our society. The life will come up, the level of life will go up and the quality of life will also happen in a much better way for us. That is what we understand by dialectical materialism. Whereas like his communist manifesto is very important kind of pamphlet. And then his duration we also understand 1818 to 1883. 
uh, it's quite important for us like understanding dialectical materialism as a philosophy but it's like more than an outlook it's a theory it's a philosophy of action this is what we need to understand and marx is a social thinker at the same time political thinker economic think economic thinker and a social thinker also and if he talks about communism and socialism and he favors communism and socialism over capitalism and he's against capitalism he's against all those possibilities and structures which give power to handful owners the working i mean the own owner class who own the resources and the power with them and he wants in the pattern of communism all those things resources and power and the possibilities to rotate around and spread around should be distributed around, around among the society equally as they require them as they need them causing equality so this equality will only happen when there is a dialectical materialism kind of efforts and possibilities and instruments applied in our society and communism happens to be one of the existent existential possibility and visibility and socialism also happens to be existential reality and possibility so that is what i understand to an extent about uh, dialectical materialism and so i just wanted to just share with you thanks a lot listening watching you watching these so this is again straight before you